For a few days, a north wind had been fighting against the Gulf Stream, resulting in choppy seas. So we waited in Miami for the winds to change direction in order to make a comfortable crossing to the Bahamas. We've lost our sea legs after being off the boat for three weeks, and both of us are uh, have been alternating being sick. It was forecasted to be a calm crossing, and it's not bad, but it feels a lot rougher than it is. And I'm guessing it's because the winds and the Gulf Stream are still kind of deciding their mind on what they want to do. The winds are shifting, so instead of swells, we're just getting really short wave patterns uh, from all directions. Greg's too sick to talk. <laughs> He's just agreeing with what I'm saying. He doesn't even look that bad. As we neared Bimini, we came across a school of tuna and both our trawling lines went off at the same time. Hello, dinner. We exited the Gulf Stream and were treated to the beautiful turquoise waters of the Bahamas. Hey, I can see to the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. 16 feet away. Yeah, look. Right, I'm gonna look later. Okay. So we just got to the Bahamas and checked in and there's a double rainbow. Looks like a single on the camera, but I swear there are two. Apparently the pot of gold is in our friend's boat. <laughs> and this is what's behind us. Beautiful. After a seamless check-in procedure, we took down our yellow quarantine flag and hoisted our Bahamian courtesy flag. We had purchased a solar oven prior to leaving Miami and decided to try it for the first time in the sunny Bahamas. On the menu was rice and beans with veggies. We had decided on a portable sun flare solar oven due to its lightweight and compact nature. Bimini was beautiful and we wanted to stay longer. However, the perfect weather window opened up for the jump across the banks. At dawn, we headed for Chub Key. We had initially planned to travel with three buddy boats. Unfortunately, our good friends on Mandera had prop issues and were forced to remain in Bimini. The Bahama Banks are large expanses of shallow water that surround the islands. On our journey across, we saw depths between 4 to 20 feet. The sail across the banks was magical. The winds eventually clocked around in our favour and we flew across with speeds over 8 knots. We anchored just north of the northwest point and dragged anchor for the first time, but figured it was the best place to be dragging as there was lots of room and nothing to bump into. We eventually hoisted ourselves out of bed and reset the anchor. The next day we continued to Chub Key. The winds were light but picked up halfway to our destination, allowing us to have a nice downwind sail. After scrubbing the bottom of the boat in crystal clear water, we rewarded ourselves with some buddy boat beach time. In your hand. Got the hermit crab? Yeah, just hold that. Hold your hand flat. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'll get my leg. I got scared. Even flatter. But turn it upside down so you can walk. What do you mean? This way? I oh, know. No, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's too scary. <laughs> Video and you showering. <laughs> Our buddy boat from Be As You Are organized a group dinner at the only local restaurant on Chub Key. The chef's son picked us up in a stretch limousine golf cart. We enjoyed delicious cracked conch, lobster, peas and rice, and salad, and a dangerous drink called a smooth sailing. The next day, we did not have smooth sailing, as the winds and sea state were much bigger than expected. We traveled down the tongue of the ocean towards Rose Island and experienced winds of 35 knots, swells of nine feet, plus a top speed of 13 knots surfing a wave. We reached the much calmer waters on the lee side of Rose Island and were literally jumping for joy.
couple of days later, we enjoyed a short, pleasant sail to Highborn Quay, and we were finally in the Exumas. We are currently in Georgetown Exuma for the Cruisers Regatta. As always, please leave feedback on how we can make better videos and better sailors. Thanks to everyone who has shared our videos on Facebook. It's really nice to know that people are enjoying them. Thanks for watching!